Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about what is new in this update because this is the calm before the storm. So the storm is basically the 13th, so the coming maintenance where we're going to get the mission pass, the mag skins, the battle dia, we have a whole bunch of things to look for next week as well as the new bouncer class of course. But this week is kind of a slow week, but there are a couple things that I want to point out which are a little bit important. Now if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to hit 50,000 subs before the end of the year. If we manage to do that, I will shave my head bald. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, the very first thing you need to do when you log in is of course to go to systems over here go to get campaign items and you're going to notice you have two letters over here or if you haven't logged in in a while you'll have even more but here is 50 star gems right here for something i think they messed up magatsu keys or something and then we get another 50 star gems for the search the rappy audience giveaway this was from the tgs live stream thing even though even if you didn't watch the tgs thing or participate in their little mini game you still get it so that's really really nice all right so boom you see 100 star gems make sure to use it yum 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 and boom almost at 8300 star gems now life is looking really really good all right with the free stuff out of the way the next thing we need to take note of is there is an exp earn plus 20 percent now this will not show in game there's no way to show this 20 percent i don't know why they don't make it visible but you know it is what it is but at the moment from october 6th until october 13th there is a 20% EXP boost. I still am a little bit confused about this on like why they would give us the EXP boost before the bouncer comes out. And once the bouncer comes out, we don't get this 20% boost anymore, which is, you know, big question mark for me. But whatever, it is what it is. So if you do want some extra NX cubes or maybe you're not done leveling all your classes to 20 yet, this is something that you can do. Keep in mind, in New Genesis, you do not get any bonuses for getting all your classes to 20 compared to base PSO2 where you got permanent stat boosts as well as a bunch of rewards. Unfortunately, in NGS, we don't have that yet, but we probably will when the title system does get implemented sometime we don't know when next thing i want to point out is they have a pre-announced urgent quest so basically a schedule so when you click on this the link will be in the description below you will be forwarded to this page where you can check all of the times in pdt so keep in mind this is pdt time zone however bump.org has made something very very useful so i will leave this link in the description below where it translates it directly into a google thingy so it translates into your time zone all right so this link is in the description below i do recommend you guys to bookmark it so you'll know when an urgent quest is coming up remember we need to scroll down to global to check the global times please excuse that all of mine is in chinese because it auto detect that i am in hong kong and the language we use here is chinese which is why everything is auto converted into chinese because google is a smarty pants but um basically you can check all of the times over here keep in mind the schedule is only for the mining rig defense alio there are other urgent quests but they're not scheduled so basically when the pet is vera or next vera pop up so that is the big giant doll as well as the dragon those are not in the scheduled urgent quest those are unscheduled so just keep that in mind that other urgent quests can still happen um, these are just the ones that they're telling you that hey you know this is when all the mining bases are coming up so that is very very useful all right now the next thing i want to point out is in the near future they will send out a survey to everyone and in the survey they may ask us about the urgent quest and what do we think about the scheduled urgent quest because the scheduled urgent quest will only be available for a week they are doing a testing period to see if it's better if people like it or not please make sure to let sega know that we do want scheduled urgent quests because they're basically reverting back to base pso2 where we had scheduled urgent quests and we have unscheduled urgent quests so it's the best of both worlds so make sure that when you do get that questionnaire if there is a question about scheduled urgent quests make sure to let them know that we want scheduled urgent quests because it just makes everyone's life so much easier now last but not least make sure you have created three characters before the braver comes out because because we are getting the skill reset passes again for free. So you can see here on ship 2 I have two characters but I can't create a third. It's asking me to pay AC. The reason for this is because I do have one character on ship 1. And free to play players are limited to three characters 
her account, alright? So that includes whatever characters you have on any ship. So if you're having trouble making another character, if it keeps asking you to pay AC, that is the reason why. So for those who forgot what the end reset all skill passes do, it lets you reset your entire skill tree for all your classes. You cannot reset just one class and use one tenth of a ticket. It uses the entire ticket, but it resets all of your class trees and you'll be good to go, all right? So make sure you have three characters created. Remember, every single character gets one. So if you have three characters, you'll get three total. And if they're all on the same ship, you can consolidate them together. So you can see here, I have two because when the Brave Rook was released, I had two characters on ship two, and thus I have two and reset all skills. All right, special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!